What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Trident Farm. This works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will quickly give you a bunch of tridents. It will also give you a bunch of other loot as well. For this farm, all you'll need is about 23 stacks of solid blocks. By the way guys, you can use any solid blocks that you want, so it should be pretty easy for you to get these. About six stacks of glass, one hopper, about one stack of ladders, about 80 slabs, you guys can use any slabs that you want, two water buckets, nine buttons, one torch, and finally, one sea turtle egg. If you guys don't have a sea turtle egg, this farm should still work. However, if you do have one, you should use it because it will make this farm more efficient. The first step is to go to the ocean, then build out about 60 blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you've built out about 60 blocks, then you're going to build up about 55 blocks. The reason why we need to do this is because then we can prevent drowns from spawning in the ocean so that we can get the maximum amount of them to spawn in our farm. Once you have built up 55 blocks, then I recommend that you come back down and just use some ladders and place them all along the side. That way you'll be able to easily access your trident farm. The next step is you come up to the top, then place one block over here and one block over here, then extend out four blocks this way. One, two, three, four. Now just fill in the platform. After you have made this platform, then you're going to take some solid blocks and place down four. Then extend each of these sides up until they're a total of 22 blocks high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have finished building this 22 block high tube, it should be looking something like this. Then take some more solid blocks and place one in each of these corners. Then extend out two blocks this way and extend out two blocks this way. Now just fill this in. After I've made this platform, then place a layer of blocks all around just like this. Then you're going to want to extend these walls until they're a total of four blocks high. So one, two, three, four, and just extend that all the way around. After you have made this, then you're going to come down and place down a button. You guys can use any button that you want. Then take a water bucket, go to the opposite corner and place it down. The water should flow just like this. What this will do is when drowns come down here, they get pushed down into the center tube where they'll fall down, but they can be killed. The next step is to come to one side and then build out eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to repeat this on all the other sides. So you have finished building out eight blocks in each side, then you're going to take some solid blocks and just fill in this entire platform. Once you guys have finished making your platform, it should be looking something like this. In total, it should be 21 by 21 blocks. The next step is to come to one of the corners and build up nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to extend this nine block wall all the way around the entire platform. Once you have finished building your nine block high walls, then come inside and come one block down from the top and place down your glass block. Now create a roof of glass. After you have finished making your glass roof, I recommend that you make an infinite water source to do this. Just build out temporarily onto the side. Just make a little platform just like this. Then place two water buckets. This way you'll be able to have infinite water so you can fill in all the water for this farm with just two buckets. Now take some water buckets and just place them all along the edges, just like this. By placing the water all along the edges, we're going to get the roof to be completely covered in water. Once you have finished doing that, it should be looking something like this. Now take some slabs and just place them all along the edges. The reason why we're placing slabs is to prevent mobs from spawning up here. At this point, your farm should be looking something like this. Now just fill in this infinite water source and then break it. By the way, guys, the reason why we created this glass roof with water on top is because it will cause more drowns to spawn in our farm. How the system works is it takes mobs that would normally spawn up here and sends them down so that they'll spawn inside the farm. The next step is to come inside the farm. Now,
now, come to the center and take some buttons. Place three buttons over here, and three buttons on the opposite side. And one button over here, and one button over here. The drowns will see buttons as full blocks, so they'll walk straight off into this chamber. The next step is to come over to one of the corners, and place down three blocks. Then place another three. Now, place down your water bucket. The water should flow, just like that. Now, come to this side and do the same thing. Three blocks, and then place another three. Then place the water bucket. You're going to want to do this on all of the four corners. So three blocks, and then place another three, and then place the water bucket. After you guys have placed this water, the water should all flow just like this. Now, take some more water, and just place some all along the edges. So basically go to the edge of this block, and place water until you get to the other edge, and do this on all four sides. After you guys have done this, all the water should flow just like this. It should stop right before entering the center tube. At this point, you guys can break these solid blocks that you placed to set up the corner water. The next step is to come to the center, then place down three solid blocks, then break these two blocks, and then place down a turtle egg. By placing a turtle egg, this farm will be more efficient since the drowns will be attracted to it. This will also prevent them from getting stuck in the water. If you guys don't have a turtle egg, then you guys can just skip that step. The farm should still work, however, it will be slower since sometimes the drowns might get stuck or take longer to come down. By the way guys, the turtle egg will never hatch. Turtle eggs only hatch when they're placed on sand. The next step is to exit this area of the farm. Then come down to this platform over here. Then break these two blocks. And place a torch right over here. This will prevent mobs from spawning on this platform. Then place down a chest. Then just temporarily break these two blocks. Then come over here, crouch down, and place a hopper. Make sure the hopper is funneling towards the chest. Now place down a slab on top. Then just replace these blocks that you broke. To use this farm, all you have to do is wait down here. The drown should start spawning up there. Then they'll get pushed down into the center tube, where they'll fall into this chamber over here. Once they're in this chamber, you can kill them. As you guys can see there, drowns should start coming down. Once they're down here, you can one-shot kill them. If you use a sword, all their drops will be collected and funneled into this chest. Not every drown will drop a trident, however, eventually, some should drop some. By the way guys, if you use a looting 3 sword, you will have a higher chance of getting tridents. As you guys can see there, I was able to get a trident. If you guys are having trouble getting drowns to spawn, then you can try switching your game to peaceful mode and then into hard mode. This will reset all the mob spawning, that way you can get more drowns to spawn up there. I hope you all enjoy learning how to make this super easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Trident Farm. Before we end this video, I would like to give a shout out to Bedrock Builder because this is a modified version of his Trident Farm design. A link to his channel will be in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.